Hi, welcome back to the channel. So I've just finished recording my 28mm Grand Duchy of Warsaw Polish Napoleonic Wars troops video. And in that I talk a bit about the Borodino event I did. So I just it's just a wee video as I settle down have a wee dram. So this is uh, Lefroig, but it's not your classic really strong Lefroig. This is uh, uh, Oak Select, uh, sweet, subtle and smoky. So not quite as heavy as normal Lefroig. I do like uh, Lefroig. Interesting note. Uh, 1815, uh, the Lefroig distillery started. Anyway, before I get distracted by whiskey. So, Borodino event. So it's for the ACVC hub. It's Veterans Charity in Glasgow, which is all about, during the day, art, craft, pottery, model making, social space for veterans to come down, do their thing. And um, you know what? Just be people and, and, and enjoy being people for a while. To help raise funds for that, what we did was we came up with the idea of, well, I say we, I didn't, um, a couple of people, uh, Greg and Stuart, I hope they don't mind me giving them a shout out, came up with the idea. So we uh, raised some money and bought an army, a Russian army. We painted that, we did a paint a thon, and we use that in the Borodino event. We already had loads of French already, and, and some people had some Russians to lend us. After the event, we've then been selling on the painted armies. So far, we've raised £5,000, which is great. Uh, charities can often get grants for the key key sort of things we get. So we, we can get at the ACVC Hub uh, money for materials and projects and stuff, but it's running costs that matter. So, actually, through events like that, and we have um, Wargaming, so it's Wargaming there, so the money we even made from Wargaming Fellowship goes to the run across the hub. We have another Wargames group, Reaper Wargames, the play there, their, their higher costs go to the run under the hub as well. Uh, but anyway, Borodino. So, we had a big multiple players. So, in the hub, we've got pretty much as much space as we want. And we set it up over three tables. One table was the middle section of the battlefield. And I think there were four people on either side. Might even have been five people on either side of there. So you had the Grand Redoubt. You had the Flechettes. You had the main Prussian, uh, Prussian French attack against the Russians there. Then we had two other tables. Now, these two other tables, I think they were like 12 foot by 8 foot. They were quite large. So there were two people in each, each of those. So there was four people. Uh, the north part, uh, so again the French attack in the Russians, and in the south part where I came in, commanding my Poles and some French, uh, again trying to take some villages. So how we did the scenario was, you had the redoubts and the fleshettes and the village in the middle was all worth some uh, object points for holding them at the end of the game. The two villages in the north and two villages in the south. Then, because Borodino was an attritional battle, you also got points for killing enemy units. Now, we had a big scoreboard up on the, on the field, in the hall, so when you killed stuff, you were able to run up and mark it on the board and everybody cheered or capture a village and stuff. And we were playing over two days. So what we did was plan around, based on the great game, 20-minute uh, turns. And if you didn't get it done in 20 minutes... Uh, you, you missed your chance and actually 20 minute turns means that over the course of two hours you've done three turns so you can start building up uh, a lot of turns so if you're not careful everybody stands around watches everybody do something in multiplayer games don't get me wrong those multiplayer games are great and a laugh but when you want to kind of push on an event and see how things go uh, it's worth doing and actually black powder is such a simple game system. Uh, I've, I've often said this about Black Powder. There's probably far too many words written in the description of the rules. Uh, it is, at its heart, a really good, simple system that runs along at quite a nice pace. And actually, when you're fighting big battles um, with lots of players, lots of miniatures on the tabletop, that's, I think, when Black Powder comes into its own. So, uh, so me and Greg were on the French side versus uh, Robin Davy commanding the French. 
two villagers. So day one basically saw me sort of lurch forward and capture those two villagers and push back Davy's French. However, at the end of day one, it looked like I'd over uh, extended myself. My, my units had a lot of stamina casualties on them. My units were, my battalions were getting close to breaking point. So actually I went home uh, and looked up the rules for broken brigades and if I could fall back into the buildings and hold the buildings. Now there was a few other ways we linked to the games. So you could send troops off a road to turn up on a map place on another road road edge. And uh, one of my regular opponents, Ross, was uh, would have been the uh, Russian commander at the Flechettes where my poles would come up, head north and attack him. So... My cavalry could have swept round behind the enemy, but they went off onto the main table, chasing down some Russians in uh, some flechettes, and they took a flechette. Um, but the other thing was we had some central reserves, so we could request central reserves. So things were looking so tight, uh, it looked like I'd have an early bath on the Sunday morning, that I had a couple of uh, units of guard. So coming in on the Sunday morning, I fully expected my two main brigades to sort of break or at very least fall back and hold these villages while the guard come up take the villages and at least hold that ground that we'd spent all day taking now my ally general greg was late so i commanded all of the the french for the, for the first part of the battle and i had an amazing two turns uh, carried on pushing, breaking Russian units, uh, developed the attack that, uh, that Greg had started, pushed on beyond the villages, managed to rally some troops off, get my formations together and uh, punish the Russians. Uh, we, we just couldn't believe it. In fact, both me and uh, me and my opponent came in. First thing we said to each other on the Sunday morning was, it was page 34 something, which has got the rules for broken brigades, because we both looked and checked to see if we could hold villages. And it was a great day. Um, on our table, I reckon there were 30, 30 plus units aside. So you're looking at an 8 by 12 foot table and like 60 units aside. And that was only part of the battle. But anyway, uh, so that was the event. That was my part in it. French lost. Um, elsewhere, we didn't go do as well as me and my poles. But yes. Black Powder, if you know had a chance to play Black Powder on a big table, big scale battles, do so. If you're anywhere near Glasgow, get in contact. We host these big, big events at least twice a year. And uh, yeah, as long as you're cool, you might want to come down, come with spirit of the game. But anyway, hope you're having a good time right now. Uh, and look forward to chatting to you again in the future. So bye for now. Goodbye.